All right, Andy, here we are uh, looking at your delivery. Um, there's a lot of good things I think you've got in your delivery here. A couple of things I want to show you that uh, might be prone to uh, some injuries if, if you don't correct, and a couple others, uh, just efficiencies that will get you a little bit better uh, velocity, a little bit better control. But overall, um, I think a pretty good delivery. Um, I notice here you're going from the windup. One of the things I want to show you on your windup here is, you know, you're kind of stepping off to the side, and then you, right here, you just come, you stop. And you come set. So it's really no difference pitching from the stretch. So I don't know if you want to kind of work on a different windup. The purpose of the windup is to get you some momentum toward the plate. A little bit more momentum, that'll kick up your uh, velocity just a little bit, um, just by getting your body in motion. But you're moving, you know, your body over, but you should just con kind of continue, and instead you kind of come set and pause. Okay, so that that part of the windup isn't really doing anything for you. So um, that's just one thing. Next thing, let's look at the delivery. So um, I'm going to go here to set position, okay? Um, and we're going to bring in uh, a high school pitcher. It's in the uh, national tournament uh, last year, pitching, um, you know, 90 plus miles an hour. We're going to see some of the things that were. Uh, we're looking for where you want to be. Um, the whole purpose of getting a good pitching delivery is to use your body, your lower body, to create the momentum that you can then brace up on that front leg and transfer to your arm using your trunk. The trunk is the acceleration. Um, trunk is what is used to accelerate that arm. Okay, without that, uh, you're you know pitching with just your arm and uh, you're going to tire out a whole lot e easier and not be able to throw as fast or as long. So one of the things we're looking at here um, as we go into set and uh, let's get you back to set, lock you up here. And as we go up to uh, knee high here, get you both to knee high. Okay. Um, Pretty good posture. You're back over the uh, over your back leg, okay? So that's good. Got all your weight here on your back leg. Got looking at your target. Your hands are here. Your knee. I like this knee. It could be a little uh, straighter. Notice on the pitcher over here. Um, you know his knee. He doesn't do everything as they would say uh, perfect mechanics, but he does have a lot of good things going on here. And one of the things is just to kind of keep his body in line. Once you start to uh, rotate this way, then you have to rotate back the other way in your delivery, and that can cause um, that can cause some the ball to go off, your landing foot to go off. Um, you don't have a lot, but it's just one of the things. Um, I, I saw I took a couple of videos, and in a couple of your pitching deliveries, you did have a little bit more rotation than you do have here. So, I would just kind of recommend that you just kind of bring the knee straight up and get it uh, stay in line with your target. Okay. So as we get going here, this is one of the big things different though. Um, what's going to happen here is is you're going to have an early handbrake. You get that arm involved way too early. What happens when you get the arm involved way too early, when it starts to pitch way too early before the body has moved down the mound, you're going to end up not being able to transfer a lot of your energy because you've already got the arm in motion. Okay. Notice the pitcher on the right. Notice how he is leaning away from his starting position. His starting position was um, right here on the back leg here. Okay, And you look at his hip. And as we put him in motion, notice how he's leading with his hip. And look how far away from that line he gets going down toward the mound before he gets the handbrake. His hand breaks right here, and look how far that front hip is. Okay, So that's really what we want to work on. We want to work on getting uh, what they call weight shift before handbrake. Okay? And I would like to see, um, you know, your... Uh, hip out in this area, you know, with a you know start enough of, of a leg drive. I want to get a line here. It'll be better. You know, to get that, get your body start 
working down the mound toward your target, okay, without, um, before you break the hands. As we get going here, you can see at his handbrake, notice, we're going to go back here, notice where your hands are. Your hands are on the side of the ball at handbrake. Okay, what this is going to lead to is a low elbow in, later on in your delivery. Okay, just because of the position in the hands. Notice where he brings his hands. His hands are on top of the ball. Okay, and they're on top all the way through. Look at the position of his elbow and his hands. Okay, another thing I want to show you is you're actually getting um, going with your hips here or in your shoulders down toward the uh, mound before really reaching back and getting everything off of that back leg. Okay. There's a couple other things um, that you would want to work on here is want to make sure that your arm and lead leg aren't a straight line swinging out toward your target. Okay, that's going to slow you down. Okay. Notice how he brings his legs, his after he brings that front hip out, he's bringing his leg straight toward the target. He's not swinging it out um, with a straight leg. Okay. As he brings that forearm in, okay, he's going to look at that and, and get his uh, for, his lead arm out toward his target. Okay, lead arm out toward his target, and then use that to accelerate his torso. Okay. Notice how he stays a lot more level um, in his in his delivery. The big thing I want to uh, caution you here on, though, is, is watch your el watch your elbow. This is this is a danger sign. Okay, you got your shoulders here, and that elbow's uh, up above your shoulder. Anytime you see that, um, that is. That is a bad position for the shoulder socket and a bad position for that elbow, and it's going to cause you problems. Okay, notice where his elbow is, right in line with his shoulders. Okay, right in line with his shoulders. Okay, as he brings it up, we're going to see, um, you know, his elbow then ends up being in a good position because of the, where his hands were. Yours starts with above the shoulder, and then because of the hands, then it drops down below. Okay. Those are the main things I would work on. You've got a good trunk flexion and a good uh, release and good bracing action, but I'd start with that.